Well, we've wandered back into Brian's storage room back here. And of course, there's some really cool stuff and I'm eyeing this first generation. Is yeah. it even a Civic or yeah, is it? Yeah, Civic 1200. Civic 1200, yeah. yeah. They're slightly different than the, uh, than the CVCC that came out with afterwards. It's just a little bit shorter, like inch and a quarter or something. Uh, this actually has a Mugen body kit on it. It's got the wide body kit on it. And uh, this was raced back in the 80s in uh, GT5. Yeah. Um, it originally came with a 1200 motor. We actually have a Mugen 1200 motor that we're going to put in this car. God, that's we got to be rare. Yeah, rare. That's right. And we're going to restore it. Uh, in fact, I think if you go on King Motorsports website, you can actually see a picture of a complete Mugen motor. They have one that only has dyno time. It's just crazy. That's looking. amazing. Yeah. So uh, this car, I'm not really sure who uh, built it, but uh, we're going to put it back, period correct, the original 1200, and do a little vintage racing with it. So, Very cool. Uh, looking forward to that. Uh, we picked it up for relatively cheap, and it's uh, uh, just been waiting here for time uh, to put it back together. So check out this car. This is actually a 80 to 83, like second gen Civic, yeah. built by King Motorsports. This was built to compete in GT5 back in the day. They didn't really have a body kit for it. This is actually a first gen Civic uh, body kit on it to widen it up. Uh, it has a, uh, uh, a Civic 1200 motor in it, a Mugen Civic 1200 motor. That's actually why we bought this car. We wanted to take this motor, put it in that other car you saw, so, uh, and then we're probably gonna just go ahead and sell this back to Jim Dentisi, the original owner of King Motorsports. He wants the car. That's so neat. So, uh, continuing on with our pile of crazy cars, we've got a- <laughs> This one looks kind of crazy. Yeah, this is a S2000 that's been modified by Joe Huffaker. Uh, I don't know if you know who Huffaker Engineering is, but he's uh, famous for these, with the, the Spridgets and Sprites and MGs, where they take and make a Roadster, uh, windshield for it and run them in GT class in uh, uh, SCCA. This particular car is going to wind up being V6 powered at some point. Uh, oh, so you're the, making mounts for V6. Right, exactly. Very cool. Now, uh, I'm not sure what transmission we're going to use, not the Honda transmission. Uh, it, it's difficult because of the starter. I don't want to put it underneath the oil pan like some of the swaps I've seen, and I don't want to make an inch and a half wide adapter plate either. So uh, at some point we'll jump back in here and get to it. We'll probably make it run with, um, uh, I think there's a, might be a Mustang transmission that's fairly good robust, shifting yeah. and robust. And it doesn't doesn't feel all notchy like the T56s mm -hmm. do. Uh, because that's important to Honda guys. Honda guys like something to shift smooth. Oh, 100%. I think the S2000 is one of the best shifting gearboxes out there, right? Absolutely. In fact, it's funny because when Honda was developing the gearbox, that's one of the reasons they used the Mazda differential. They had enough engineering time to either work on having a good gearbox or a good differential and they opted to work on the gearbox that's uh, uh and and unfortunately the that one that means the differential winds up being one of the weak points on right. the s2000 yeah so, uh, anyway uh this will be cool when it's done it'll probably run in uh, gt3 uh with the v6 motor so uh i need to get it back uh going again uh we it's been an on again off again project for about five years as it happens but i'm very uh, curious to know about this because i don't think i've seen a Convertible CRX. Yeah, first gen CRX, uh, Strayman, Strawman, uh, S T R A M A N. Uh, that's a company that modified them. I believe they were in California. So this wasn't a dealer thing? Not a dealer thing. It was a oh, after, I know, aftermarket you. thing. And they did a really nice job with this thing. The, the, uh, um, the linkage for the uh, convertible works extremely well. The back end looks well finished. It actually looks like a nice car. It's probably not as stiff as it should be <laughs> uh, because the CRX, a lot of the strength is in the roof. Uh, but it's pretty cool. I think there are less than 500, maybe even less than 250 of them made. I believe this one is serial numbered about 206 or something like that. Yeah. Uh, well, my mom used to drive this. So uh, it's been Neat. driven by a little old lady. Uh, and uh, uh, she uh, uh, decided to retire it uh, here recently. And uh, now it may be for sale. Yeah, it might be for sale. It needs to be restored a little bit. There's a little, little frame damage on the left front end. Uh, but uh, boy, the car runs nice and, and it has AC. Unique looking, that is for sure. Completely unique. And what about this? This this car CRX here. Yeah. This one's a my dad stark used, contrast to that. That's right. My dad used to race this. This is a wide body, uh, wide body CRX, uh, first gen CRX. 
The, the body kit is based off of the old Mugen wide body kit. We actually modified it to be a little bit simpler. So it's a three piece front instead of five piece and it uh, goes together a little bit, uh, a little bit easier. It comes apart a little bit easier. Uh, this car went from my dad to my son. Uh, my son's working hard on his Integra now, so I've been driving it lately. It's a lot of fun. Just B16 powered right now. Thinking about maybe putting a K in it, uh, just because I get 300 horsepower of K pretty easily. Uh, it might make it a really fun car. Yeah, uh, I'm sure it's one, lightweight. Yeah, yeah. It's set up to run a really wide slick. Uh, we're just on some uh, R888s right now, uh, 205s. But the car handles nice and it's very fast, very fast. Wow, this may look like an ordinary Honda B series. It in fact is. This is actually a ZC motor. This is like an 86, 87 Integra or uh, CRX SI ZC motor. Oh, These, ZC, all right. ZC. Wrong. I was wrong on the B. That's okay. <laughs> but uh, yeah, they do look like an old uh, like B18, but basically 1.6 liter motor. They came, uh, these are actually Mugen motors. Wow. If you look at the oil pan, it's, the sump is gigantic on it. It's also set up for uh, uh, side draft carburetors. From Mugen, they had about 180 horsepower. Uh, this particular so back one- Back in its day, that was a, quite a stout engine. That was a really stout engine. This particular one was actually modified by Comtech and puts out over 200 horsepower. Holy smokes. We have, that is kind of the holy grail of ZC motors. That, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, so we actually have an 867 Civic SI that we're gonna put the motor into that car and make it like a period correct N2, N1, whatever the, the racing series was back there, N2 I think it was. Uh, we're gonna make it a period correct deal. We'll probably you know, do like a Primo Honda paint job on it and uh, cool. stick the ZC in it and just uh, blast around in it and, and uh, bring it out to some events and stuff like that. So uh, this is also a Mugen header. Uh, crazy smooth bends. These are, uh, you know, hand bent, uh, sand filled tubes, uh, kind of mashed into position. And, uh, this header, like the engine, only has dyno time on it. So it's a, a, a pretty rare, pretty rare piece. I think you're going to be getting a lot, a lot of Honda fanboys emailing you about buying these things, Brian. <laughs> They're not for sale. No, I didn't think so. We actually sold a couple of them to some guys that were racing these were modified to race in 88 to 91 tube frame cars. You can see the corner was cut off the oil pan. That's to clear the radius rod on the front suspension. Uh, but we picked them up and we want to put them in something else. So uh, we're hanging on to them. So again, we have a big pile of stuff here. Uh, this is another wide body CRX. Uh, this is going to be a GT light car. We're going to put a, a B18 in it. Uh, it'll have to run a restrictor on it, but we'll see how it works out. We think. Uh, one of the things my son and I would like to do is uh, when the SCCA runoffs come back to the West Coast, we'd like to run his GT light car and this GT light car and do kind of a father-son thing. So nice. hopefully it works out for us. Uh, we'll see what happens. But we're starting development on it here pretty quick. This. Yeah, it's not a Honda. It's not a Honda. It's a Lotus, Formula Ford. Uh, 70s, mid-70s, I'm thinking. Uh, my brother actually bought it to do some vintage racing, all this never really panned out. So it's been sitting here. One of the things I'd like to do th with this is I'd like to talk to HPD and I'd like to borrow one of their L15 Formula F motors and put it in this. Then I'd like to go ahead and paint it white with the orange sun. It's kind of like the old Honda F1 car. Yeah. I think it would be a fantastic advertising vehicle for their Formula motor. And I think it would just be a blast to have And a it. blast to drive. Yeah have it and just drive it around. That would just be amazing. So anyway, Honda, decide you want something unique. Let's do it. So this is one of our latest projects. This is HPD's CRZ that they had a couple of years ago. Uh, at Thunder Hill, they actually rolled it, unfortunately. There's a few dents in the hood, uh, or the <laughs> roof, I mean. Uh, but they went ahead and finished the race, as a matter of fact. They replaced the windshield, uh, pushed out the roof, and finished the race. The car is actually in really good shape. We are going to put a K-Series in it, get rid of the hybrid system, and then once we do that, we're gonna take it out and try to develop it at the track a little bit, hopefully do a little bit of racing with it, and if all works well, in November, it goes back to HPD, and then they're gonna take it out, race it 25 hours of Thunder Hill. Where it will kick ass, because a K-powered CRZ should be very fast. Uh, it absolutely should. 
Interesting story. When the CRZ first came to the U.S., one of the first things Honda did, of the United, Honda of America did, was slap a K in it and see if it could work out. Unfortunately, my understanding is wasn't able to pass pass crash testing. Oh no! Otherwise, these would have came oh, from no. Honda. Oh no! That would have been amazing, wouldn't it? But that's okay. As the battery packs die and the prices go down, we have a mount kit to slap a K in it, and the car is a blast to drive. Absolute Perfect. blast. Welcome to the VTech Academy Garage. This is a project we're working on right now. This is a 93 Acura Integra. We're actually just fitting a wide body kit up front so we can put some big tires on it. We put a supercharged K24 on the car and it needs a little extra tire so it's not spinning the wheels the whole time. Right. So Hush Performance has uh, a DA wide body front end. They're the only company that makes it. Uh, we are installing it right now on the vehicle. Uh, it's turning out beautiful. It's going to be a really nice car. I'm looking super forward to bringing it out to the track once we uh, get some big meaty tires underneath the front end. It looks like we're going to be able to run a two, 255 in the front and a 235 in the rear. Yeah, wow. And tell me this, so would this be a normal drag application front end and that you're going to be using at the at the racetrack or in reality they made it doesn't it matter be, they made it to be dual purpose i got they you. didn't go so big as to like cover like a 26 inch tall slick they made it more for uh, a slightly you know more normal size 24 and a half inch slick so uh they were also trying to uh keep it adjustable so that you could use it for both road racing or cool. street or uh drag racing i think uh with the popularity of drag racing right now, you're going to probably see a lot more street builds that are taking mm -hmm. after them. You're going to start seeing people with, you know, the lean engines, K-Series lean engines and wide bodies and, you know, probably like a, 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 a drag radial up front. So I think right. that's going to Running become, on the street. Yeah, exactly. I think it's going to become a lot more, a lot more common. Anyway, this car is pretty fine. It puts out about 265 horsepower. We'll probably uh, get it up around 300 before we stop and then... Uh, we would like to uh, challenge you guys, Air Speed Academy, <laughs> your badass 2000, uh, maybe a gingerman this summer. That's right. We're going to try to make it happen. Nice. Nice. So uh, uh, we may bring a ringer of a driver, though. I'm just uh, not because we think we need it, but because Carter just doesn't want the pressure of uh, running up against you guys. <laughs> well, me and Dave will definitely be driving our badass okay. 2000. Sweet. Fantastic.